Today I'm looking at the Seacox and the bonding system on a 50 year old Seine yacht. It's good practice to bond the Seacox to the hull anode. That way any galvanic corrosion happens at the expense of the anode and not the Seacox. And you do this by connecting each Seacox fitting to the anode using a heavy gauge piece of earthing wire. It should look something like this. Here you can see a reasonably good quality Seacox it's been double clamped at the hose, which is good practice. And you can see here the earth bonding wires coming from the anode. The trouble is, if I can see two wires going to a seacock, then I know that it has been what is called daisy chained, which is really bad practice. Let me explain what that means. So daisy chaining is where the wire comes from the anode to the seacock skin fitting. It then leaves the skin fitting, goes down along and then comes up to the next skin fitting. It then leaves that and heads off somewhere else. So in essence, each of the skin fittings are connected to each other. So should the connection to the anode fail, the next weakest seacock will be the one that acts like an anode. That's why daisy chaining is a really bad idea. Remember, there should be one bonding wire going to each skin fitting. If there are two, that tells you that it's probably been daisy chained, which is bad practice. And the recommendation should be to single up all of those wires so that each seacock is uniquely connected to the anode. Daisy chaining is a really bad practice and puts some of your seacocks at greater risk should the link to the anode fail. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.